Okay, chefies, as promised, I would show you some of the stuff that I do in the gym. This is my personal trainer. Hello, I'm Ish. Hey. This is Ish. Uh, you can follow her on her Instagram. Uh, it's regular, R-E-G-U-L-A underscore E-S-H. Regular Ish. Follow her on Instagram to check all of her workouts. She really, she really works out with, like, basketball players so you know i'm very lucky and thankful to have her you know spend time with me in the gym so what are we about to do what are you showing um, me so we're gonna do a barbell movement today it's called a clean and press so you take your barbell your feet are shoulder width apart your hands are outside of your hips you are going to do a slight bend in your knees big shrug at your shoulders and then you Press it up overhead, just like so. That is how you finish it. So all together, it's just like that. Clean okay. and press. Clean and press. Now, y'all know this is only like, we ain't even in the 24 hours. So my camera skills, I'm, my, I'm working on it. <laughs> Bear with me, but you see me trying, okay? So don't, don't, come, too, don't come too hard. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get better. But I know these angles are a little off. But I wanted to make sure I did what I said I was gonna do. Now she's gonna show y'all what it look like when I do it. And every time I do an exercise, I do three rounds. We do three different exercises and three to four circuits. We work out 90 minutes per day, five to six days a week. And sometimes I work out with another trainer four days a week, additionally. But anyway, we'll get into that later. There you go. Ten reps. Good. Make sure you breathe. I am breathing. I'm just making sure. Sometimes we don't breathe when we you move. You can hear that shit? I do. I'm sorry. I'm like, maybe he's telling the people. You, she's telling y'all to breathe, okay? Yeah, you guys try to make be sure careful. You breathe. She's breathing. <laughs> Make sure you shrug big and then bring it to your shoulders and push it up. There you go. So what's this exercise? This is called a BOSU overhead squat press. A mouthful. <laughs> yeah, dog. That sounds like a lot. It's not a lot. It's really not a lot. The, the name is makes it sound more complicated, but it's actually very easy. Okay, let's see what it is. So you are going to balance on the BOSU wall. Your feet are shoulder width apart, kind of closer to the handles. You're gonna squat down and as you're coming up, you're gonna press the weight overhead just like so. Drop your hips, sit on your heels, bring it up overhead just like so. And what are we working out? Um, so you're working out your gooch, you're working out your upper body, and always your core. Because Booty and abs. That's what I heard. <laughs> Booty and abs. <laughs> this is actually hard to balance. Gotta engage that core. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze my abs or my butt? Your abs. You don't want to squeeze my booty? I mean, you can. That but... booty. That big old booty. That booty. <laughs> okay, what's the next exercise? All right. This exercise here is called landmine rows. So you take a barbell, you put it up against the wall, put a plate on it of your desired weight, um, clip it. You bend your knees, your back straight, chest tall. You bring the barbell up and down to your midsection. Extend the arms all the way. Try to look forward so that you are not hunching your shoulders when you look down. So with you looking up, your back is neutral and you just bring it up and down. And what is this working out? Um, this is working out your lats. It's working out your triceps and it's indirectly engaging your core. Okay. Jeffies, I told you guys you would see me today, so I wanted to start out with some breakfast. I'm gonna do some pear and blackberry baked oatmeal. Um, I like to do baked oatmeal just to show people a different way to cook a breakfast as they're getting ready since everyone complains that they don't have enough time 
This is something you can do, pop it in the oven for an hour while you're getting ready. And by the time you're ready to walk out the door, it is, it is done. So in the bowl right here, we have steel cut oatmeal. And then we also have a little bit of brown sugar, ground cloves, ground cinnamon, and a little bit of baking powder, right? So that's what we have in the bowl right now. So since we had a few of those candied pears left over from lovely Mimi's dessert, I decided we're gonna throw that into our baked pear oatmeal. So that's what this pan is for. And we will heat the pears up, put the blue blackberries in there. Add a little bit of butter. That's about a fourth of a cup of oatmeal that we saw put over there. And I'm going to just set this right here for a second. Sorry, y'all. I forgot to take out my coconut milk. So I'm also adding some coconut milk. Y'all are gonna have to bear with me while I get used to holding the camera and doing everything the proper way. So please be nice. I don't wanna have to be arguing in my comment section, all right? Cause I can get spicy, okay? But so we wanna get this to come up to a boil. And we are going to add the oatmeal mixture with the cinnamon, baking powder. And I used some of this Meyer lemon zest. And you use a microplane or a zester, whatever you wanna call it. You put the skin of it in the mixture. It adds a really bomb citrus flavor, right? So once this comes to a boil, we're gonna wanna put this into an oven-proof baking pan and we're gonna bake it on 350 degrees for one hour. 35 minutes of it will be covered and then I'll come in here, take the cover off and I'm gonna add the last two candied pears that we had from last night. I'll add a few blackberries and then I'm gonna add some almonds and uh, pumpkin seeds as my bomb flavorful garnish. Again, you guys, we are doing baked oatmeal with pears and blackberries. And then since we put pears in there, I'm just gonna add a splash of the organic pear juice just to add more flavor, cause why not? Cause why not? <laughs> Because, uh, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't we do that? Why wouldn't we do that? Ooh, it's coming to a boil. So pretty. So pretty. I love it. So, of course, you want to use something that's nonstick. So, we're going to use one of these nonstick little baby loaf pans. And... Ooh, it's boiling, so we can turn this off now. And I'm just gonna act like I have some sense and pour this into a bowl first and properly mix everything up because I also want to use some. Okay, we're gonna act like that didn't happen, but it did. I'm gonna use some nonstick 
coconut oil spray. Even though we put butter in there. Okay. And bear with me, y'all. Okay. Now. We're going to add, this is a little bit of a scrambled egg. We're gonna add just a little bit of egg for a texture. It's not necessary. You do not have to use the egg. So if you are vegan and you don't wanna use the egg and of course the butter, you don't have to. You can swap out the butter and use coconut oil. And the egg is not a texture that you necessarily need. So it's okay if you're not with it. There's also some fresh ginger root in here too to add like another layer of flavor because I'm all about that all about it so beautiful right you guys oh my god oh my god this is all I'm gonna do is fill this up Okay, so we're just gonna fill this up, pop it in the oven on 350 degrees for an hour, but after 35 to 45 minutes, we'll open it up. We will top it with these almonds and pumpkin seeds and some of these bomb pears. And I'll probably throw a few of the blackberry slices on the top too, because hello, it looks good. All right, I will be coming back with a finished product. <laughs> I need to show you all what I love to do every single morning, which is celery juice. Um, there is a celery juice detox that clears out your liver and your kidneys. And you have to drink one full bunch of organic celery juiced every morning on an empty stomach. So 45 minutes before you eat or drink anything, you have to drink one bunch of organic celery juiced. Why do you have to do this? Because it helps your body with a digestive reset. This is amazing for people that have chronic illness, inflammation within the body. It helps with your energy levels. It helps with your skin. Uh, and I personally have a masticating juicer. This is a harom juicer. Masticating means that the fruits and vegetables are actually crushed in here versus the old school juicers, which are blended with a hot blade. And once the hot blade touches your fruits and vegetables, you lose nutrients. So a masticating juicer is like a cold juice press in your house and it gives you more whole nutrients. So celery juice is amazing and bomb, and you should do it for 30 days straight. I'm way beyond my 30 days, and this is a way of life for me and something that I do. Um, so here we go, we're gonna make some celery juice. Thanks for tuning in, my chefies. And I keep this little strainer up here because because the vegetables and fruits get crushed, sometimes it can get a little chunky and I don't like chunks in my juice. I'm, I'm real funny about that. So that ain't it for me, okay? That ain't the one for me. I don't like that. I don't know about y'all, but I got texture issues. So I'm good on chunky juice. I do not like the chunky juice. Uh-huh, here we go. It sucks that you can't have music playing. Dang. I will be banging some music right now. I guess it's okay. You guys can listen to my voice. And it gives you about 16 ounces of juice. So you wanna juice the whole bunch 
Chefies, uh, Mimi told me that YouTubing gets real personal because you guys see us at whatever. So this is what I look like when I wake up in the morning. Only thing I did was brush my teeth, okay? So we got our celery juice for the win. We got our glass. And we just gonna pull up. We gonna pull up. We gonna pull up. We gonna pull up. Yeah. Ooh, celery juice. Health as well. Health as well, babies. My little chefies, get in line and let's get this celery juice going. Let's reset your digestive systems. 2019 is all about health and wealth. You need to be educated on what you're putting in your food. Why? Because the government is killing us through the food and the drinks. The more we consume things that shouldn't be put in our body, the more we get diseases that we can't prevent. But the quote unquote healthcare system, which is really a disease care system, puts you on medications that prolongs the death sentences that they gave you with the food that's really not supposed to be consumed, you know. Celery juice, babies. Come on, my chefies, and join me. Join me. We'll be back to show you the finished product of the baked oatmeal. I told y'all I would get with y'all today. Here I am. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get to it. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to tune into this game? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. About to show, I'm about to show, you know, YouTube another vision. Another vision of black girl excellence. <laughs> We have baked this on 400 for 35 minutes. And now we are topping it with our pumpkin seeds and sliced almonds. This is hot. I don't know why I grabbed that. We have our candied pears. Blackberry baked oatmeal. Now I'll put this back in the oven to finish off. Ooh, so pretty. Chefies, the final product. Ooh, it looks so beautiful. Yeah. We have blackberry pear baked steel cut oats. A healthy breakfast alternative. Yay, Chefies. Thanks for tuning in. Did again. Alicia's breakfast today is this beautiful blackberry pear steel cut oats, which I will be putting on my uh, YouTube channel. So tune into that later with some chorizo, arugula salad, and a fried egg. Okay, okay my chefies, this is what the plate is looking like. We have the baked blackberry pear steel cut oats. So pretty. And then we have a arugula salad with a fried egg, some red onion, and some chorizo. What a bomb, beautiful, balanced breakfast. Chef Jordan Chaton.